Alright guys, so today we're going to be looking at functions here. And functions, what they really are, they're simply equations, okay? So functions, you can say it's a different way to write an equation. Before, this is how we write it. y is equal to 15x, okay? But now we're going to write it in a different way. We're going to write it in this format. f of x is equal to 15x. Notice that instead of writing y, I have f of x. And that is pretty much the whole difference here. Okay, so f of x is read as the function of x or f of x. It is the output or the range, okay? And then the input x is any real number, so any values here is any real numbers, and it is the domain, okay? So this portion here, so we call the domain. This right here, f of x, is what we call the range. Okay, so let's talk about the first example here. It's asking you find f of negative 2 if f of x is equal to negative 3x minus 1. And like I said, this is like an equation. Before, they will write, they will write this same question like this. y is equal to negative 3x minus 1. And then they will ask you to find x is equal to negative 2. In this question, that's literally what they're asking you to do. It's the same idea with a different format. Okay, so now let's write it in the correct format that they want us to write it in. Okay, so we know that f of x is equal to negative 3x minus 1. Okay, notice that this x here and this x here, and I'm going to write it with a different color so you can see it, are exactly the same. That x there and that x there are always going to be the same. Now, f of negative 2, okay, instead of writing an x there, I'm writing a negative 2. Okay, so let's actually write that in red. Okay, okay that's going to be negative. Okay, we're still going to write this, negative 3. And instead of writing x, so I'm going to substitute negative 2 with x, just like I did here. Okay, I'm substituting... Neg uh, x with negative 2. So instead of writing x on my equation, I'm going to write negative 2. Now, negative 3x, what that really means is negative 3 times x. So we're actually multiplying. So instead of writing just negative 2, I'm actually going to put a parenthesis to indicate that we need to multiply. Let me write this with a different color here. So that means negative 3, okay, times negative 2, well that's going to be positive 6. Minus 1, well that's going to be 5. So again guys, all we're doing here is pretty much replacing x with negative 2. We're substituting negative 2 with x. For x, actually. Let's do example number 2 here. Find f of 3 if f of x is equal to 2x two plus 4. Okay, so we know 
that f of x is equal to 2x plus 4. So that means that f of 3, okay, so I'm replacing the x with the 3. So in here I'm going to have 2 times 3, okay, because I'm replacing my x with the 3 plus 4 there. So 2 times 3, that's going to be 6 plus 4, that's going to be 10. Okay, I hope that's clear. Let me make this a little bigger so you can copy that. You can also pause the video so you can just simply copy. And then when you're done copying down down, when you understand that we're just simply substituting the number, uh, we're uh, actually we're substituting the variable x with the number, that's all we're doing. So go ahead and do, and now you try a problems. Pause the video and work on those. Now, function tables. You can organize the input rule and output into a function table. By the mean by rule is this, how the function is behaving. Okay, so in here it says complete the function table then state the domain and the range. So we know they're telling us that f of x is equal to 4x plus 1. So we're going to use that to complete our table. The first thing that they're telling us here is that x is negative 2. Well, if x is negative 2, we're just going to replace, we're going to substitute x with negative 2 in there. So we're going to have f of negative 2 is equal to 4 times, so 4 times negative 2 because we're replacing the x with negative 2 plus 1. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, plus 1 is negative 7. So the output is actually negative 7. Let's go ahead and continue doing this. So this is going to be f of 0 here. That's going to be equal to 4 times 0 plus 1. Well, 4 times 0 is just 0. Plus 1, that's going to give me 1, so that's what we're going to put right over here. Then we, our 3 is going to be our input. So we're going to have f of 3 is equal to 4 times 3 plus 1. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13, so that's what we're going to put over here. Finally, we know that the input is going to be 6, so we're going to have f of 6 is equal to 4 times 6 plus 13. Well, 4 times 6 is going to be 24 plus 13 it's going to be 37, I believe. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. Okay, so here we have all of our values for x. And we have all the values for y. So remember what the domain is. They're asking us to state the domain and the range. The domain are all the values for, so 
So values for x. The range, on the other hand, values of y. Okay, so all the values of x are, we open our brackets, negative 2, 0, okay, we got that, that, 3, and 6. Okay, I should have done with the different color. Let's do the range now. The range is going to be negative 7. 1, 13, and 37. All right. Hope this is making a little bit more sense now. Let's go ahead and do our last example here, example number 4. Where they're telling us that f of x is equal to negative 3 minus 5. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. It's also telling us, again, that x is negative 2. Okay, so I'm going to use this right here. Instead of writing x, I'm going to write negative 2, though. So f, instead of writing x, negative 2. is equal to negative 3, okay, this negative 3, times negative 2, okay, minus 5, negative 3, times negative 2, that's going to be positive 6, minus 5, well, that's going to be 1, so that's going to be my output. Then we got 0 here, f of 0, is equal to well negative three times zero minus five. Negative three times zero is just zero. Minus five is gonna be negative five. Okay, so I'm gonna just let you finish that table there and go ahead and finish nine, problem nine and ten. All right, awesome.